after the show, then the RBI will be increasing the liquidity coverage ratio for banks. These are draft rules, but the expected demand for bonds has already pushed up bond prices and brought down yields. Now, what do the new liquidity coverage rules mean and how will they impact the banks? Lata Venkatesh is here with an explainer. Lata, good afternoon. Well, basically, liquidity cover means keeping more money as pure cash or nearly uh, cash instruments like government bonds. That is what the liquidity cover ratio means. What banks are required to do by Reserve Bank is that they have to estimate how much deposits will flow out in the next one month. And that has to be kept as liquidity, as government bonds, which, which can be easily liquefied. This rule always existed, but now banks are requiring more liquidity because of internet banking. I mean, at time was when you would only withdraw money from ATMs and, you know, use it uh, through the month. But now, on a daily basis, anyone can be paid minute by minute uh, through, uh, uh, you know, UPI. And that means the banks are having less of immediate liquidity or more demands on their uh, cash and Hence, these rules. What Reserve Bank has said is that you, uh, for stable deposits, where you know those deposit accounts where people are not withdrawing too much from their current and savings account, the banks had to keep five percent of that as liquid, uh, uh, you know, government bonds. Now they have to keep ten percent because more withdrawals are happening. And for less stable deposits, so people who are inclined to use uh, pay from their savings account more often, they had to keep ten percent of that in the form of liquid cash. Uh, or government bonds, now they have to keep 15%. Likewise, now term deposits are what bankers like very much because you won't liquefy them. For that, you don't have to keep LCR. But if the term deposits have been used by some small unit as collateral to borrow, then those will have to be treated as retail deposits and you have to keep the same 10 or 15% as uh, uh, government bonds uh, as a percentage of those deposits. Now, besides all these rules, the valuation of bonds also has been tightened a bit. Uh, people used to uh, value the bonds at face value. Now they have to value at the current price, which means, again, there could be more bonds that you have to top it up. What is the impact if more of the money of banks is kept idle? Not exactly idle, but only in government bonds. The return is, what, 6 to 7%. If they lend it as loans, say credit card loans, they would get, you know, many times that, some, at least double that. So if you keep more cash in government bonds, your margins are crunched. Also, you will go hunting for more long-term deposits. So, deposit costs go up and again, margins are crunched. So, there are some calculations. Jeffries is calculating that about 4 to 10 percent impact can uh, come on banks' uh, earnings. Uh, it really depends because public sector banks have a lot more uh, government bonds than they need to. So, they may be in less of a, a, a you know, haste to go and borrow expensive. It uh, hits different banks differently. But the biggest impact, you will not believe, is happening on government, on bonds. Because if you just do a plain vanilla back of the envelope calculation, if all banks have to increase the amount of government bonds by 10 to 15 basis points, it will mean nearly a 5 lakh crore demand for bonds. OK, some of them already have extra bonds. You bring it down to 2.5 lakh crore. Still, an extra demand of, you know, 2.5, 3, 3, 3 lakh crore of bonds. What is the net government borrowing program? It is about 11 lakh crore. You're creating demand for about 30% from next year. So the real impact is on bonds and already today the yields have fallen to two-year lows. All right, Lata, many perspectives and a lot of takeaways uh, from your explanation and on this big development. But one big takeaway for me is that we are more formalized in the uh, transactions uh, on online setup. And uh, trust me, I'm paying everybody on a regular basis on uh, online through UPI. So that's a very big difference and therefore many changes in the rules as well to discuss.